So in this video, we're revealing how to make money on LinkedIn and how complete beginners are earning $100 to $700 a day with no experience. More with that after the intro. Hey guys, how's it going? Mike Basile here. Welcome to this video. Before we actually begin, I remind you that several spots have opened up for this week's free workshop where it's the fastest and easiest way to make money online. Sign up for it in the link below. We literally have a 62 year old woman go from zero to 160 grand profit in 90 days, so sign up for it now. So as you can see in the past 30 days, we've netted about like $57,000 now with one online business and with another online business, we went from like $7 a day in the middle of August all the way upwards to like $300 a day. And then now you can see in the past 28 days, uh, we're averaging about like $1,000 a day. So whenever I get to the point where I scale an online business, I'm starting to think, okay, well, what are the ways that I can make money online and where can I get more traffic sources and leads and people to my products, offers, and services? And that's when I really started doubling down and looking at LinkedIn because I know a lot of people that are making an absolute killing on LinkedIn. You know, professionally, especially if they wanna attract professional clients, they wanna network with the right people, if they wanna get into business deals, investments, and partnerships, or find the right agencies to work in, LinkedIn is probably one of the best go-to places to go ahead and get started. But for people getting started, they're like, well, how do I get started? I don't know how to make money with LinkedIn. Where would I go as a beginner? What are the steps to actually go and make $100 a day to $700 a day, and so on and so forth, with this social media platform that yet not too many people actually know how to do it? Well, this is a video that I wish I had because at that point, you know, I remember looking at websites like, for example, 40 ways to make money online with this blog called monetizepros.com. And they ex essentially explain everything. And what I want to do is compare, you know, how to make money online with LinkedIn compared to how I made money online, you know, with my own website, on other social media platforms, on search engines and whatnot to see if it's actually pretty well uh, distinguishable and doable for the new beginner. So the first one that they're talking about is creating a LinkedIn group around an interesting topic or relevant topic. You know, you can create email news groups using a custom welcome template when they join once a week, grow your mailing by using welcome and announcement emails to promote free content giveaways, webinars, autoresponder sequences that give your group members your list. Now here's the thing, I think this is a really good idea because one thing that no one realizes, and this is just if you just take your eyes off of LinkedIn as like a social media platform and just look at marketing in general, where, where we are moving in terms of marketing, we're going away from like the annoying ads that are just like hitting your face on all of like the videos and whatnot. What real marketing is turning into is known as tribe building. And if you could build a tribe or a group of people around a specific cause or pain point or problem and give them the solution, that's actually how the best marketers are doing the most right now. Like for example, there's this company called ClickFunnels, right? They have a software company. But if you go to their events, you don't even know what the hell they're selling because everyone's just like dancing and giving each other high fives and it feels like a personal development company because of the fact that the community feels like this tribe where you never want to actually go ahead and leave. That's one thing that you could essentially do with the LinkedIn group. You could start bringing people from so many different professions but if they have a specific problem, kind of like a Facebook group back a couple years ago where it was a huge opportunity, you can start bringing professionals together and sharing resources, adding value, creating the community and making money with that way. Now the second thing that they do is sell informational products. If you are marketing your own informational product, LinkedIn can be a great place to do it. Here are some ways you can use LinkedIn to get people in your sales funnel. So create a bunch of free pieces of content. So a lot of people, like on Facebook, they just you know add a bunch of connections and start posting you know, on their LinkedIn and allowing themselves to go ahead and make videos, lives, photos, they write articles, right? It's cool because you can literally keep a bunch of the professional people that follow you on LinkedIn. I know people that make six figures on LinkedIn, seven figures on LinkedIn, just doing that with free organic methods. And when they add value, every now and then they add something what is known as an email magnet where they're gonna do like a free web strap, a free webinar, a free Zoom masterclass, a free ebook and whatnot, and they start collecting people's email addresses and they start collecting people's email addresses and this is exactly what I do with all my platforms. You can see that we give a bunch of things away for free and we get in anywhere from 100 to 300 new leads every single day. People going to our sales processes and funnels and whatnot and that's exactly how we're able to do so much in the past 30 days, $57,000 net and in the past seven days, you know, $5,000, $6,000 net because of the fact that we're getting people into our sales process and our sales funnel. LinkedIn is great because since not a lot of people are actually leveraging it as a marketing channel, you can actually get a bunch of people to go ahead and follow you 
and uh, be like the first mover's advantage and start posting content. You know, Grant Cardone is posting a lot of content on here. Gary Vee is posting a lot of content on here. I just went to um, an event, it's called Mind Valley, where it's like a spiritual event of entrepreneurs and a lot of people there made most of their money by just creating content, giving things away for free on LinkedIn because the fact that you could get viral on LinkedIn is a lot higher than you could get viral on like, for example, Facebook, right? A lot of people back in the day would post content on Facebook and they were making a full-time living, six figures, seven figures, just from their Facebook pages. But as Facebook grew and needed to make more money, it turned into a pay-to-play type of game and you couldn't reach the same amount of people that were following you. The only thing though is in LinkedIn, the organic reach is so much bigger, so you can essentially attract more people for free just by posting content that you might be already posting on other social media platforms. So that's pretty good. And the next one is selling physical and digital products. Physical is, is really, really gonna be hard. I would focus more on the digital products. Not just digital products, mostly offers and services. Like for example, the other day, uh, for example, since our online business was scaling like crazy, right? Like I said, now we're averaging about like, you know, $1,000 a day on one online business and the other one we've netted like about like 50 or six grand this week, right? Um, I started realizing, oh, I need to find somebody to run like my marketing, right? Um, you know, we get people running our YouTube ads, our Facebook ads and whatnot, but I'm always constantly in the search for talent to go ahead and you know work with me and help scale my business offers and services. So I literally go to LinkedIn and I see exactly what what is their history, how long have they been in it, what did they do in the past, do they have a lot of background information on this, or are they just somebody that started their agency? I'm looking for people that have like a track record for you know having a lot of case studies that I know of. Um, you know, consistency, they know how to deal with the problems I'm currently facing, and those are the people that I'm willing to pay, you know, $3,000, $4,000, $5,000, $7,000 a month to go do that service. So what people are doing is using LinkedIn to attract clients like me because there's literally people that are willing to pay you like five to $10,000 a month for a specific marketing or sales or copywriting service, right? And if you have like a really good history on LinkedIn, you have a lot of people backing you say, oh yeah, he's really good at copywriting. Oh yeah, he's really good at sales funnels. Oh yeah, he's really good at lead generation. It creates its social proof in the mind for you to attract more clients. So that's one of the biggest things. You gotta start building your social proof on LinkedIn, right? If you are having a service and your LinkedIn's pretty good, but it doesn't really highlight your social proof, you need to start doubling down on that because when people start making high level decisions of who's gonna be my agency to run my Facebook ads or my YouTube ads, they're looking for consistency and people that are proven to give results. And if you could kind of like ensure that in your messaging, you could actually make really good money in services. Like I said, you know, I literally pay someone to run it, my YouTube ads, $4,000 a month, right? And you look at their LinkedIn and it's like phenomenal because of the fact that they've shown all of the results, the case studies, the testimonials, you really gotta, you know, put your, customers and your clients case studies up on the post because you could attract as many clients as you think you can and if you think about it you don't need that much if you get like five clients with this method that's already a quarter million dollars a year business okay if it's a service-based business you could outsource it to contractors you can make really really good money so that's a really good method to make money with LinkedIn and more so services do better than digital products because of the fact that you're dealing with professional people they don't want to go through like some you know digital course they literally want somebody to do the work for them and they're willing to pay you for it or give you equity in their company and then you talk about increased book sales it is a way to uh, do that but most of the time how you're gonna make money with this is mostly from networking with other people that are in your network maybe getting on podcasts the book is essentially not gonna make you the most money most people don't make most a lot of money in books what they use the book for is a conversation starter to get into somebody's network, maybe on a podcast or whatnot, because when you have that network, remember, your network is your net worth, and LinkedIn is one of the best places that you can network with some really high profile people that have done a bunch of cool things. If you do write a book, it's a really good way to just start networking with them because it gives you that authority, ethos, and credibility for them to maybe get you to connect with them in some form or fashion. And then direct advertising sponsors are good, but like I said, you won't make that much money. Affiliate products are really good. That's what I do most of. Like I said, with this product right here, it's a high ticket product. That's why you could see today we made $1,100 
Yesterday was like $5,000, the day before that was $1,900. Because we deal with high ticket affiliate marketing, by uh, literally partnering with existing experts and having them do the selling while I just create like the marketing processes leading up to that. So you can see that all of it is pretty much really, really lucrative. But like I said, there's so many ways to make money with LinkedIn. I think the biggest opportunity is the fact that it has such easy organic reach and it's a lot easier to go viral compared to Facebook. And if you understood the capability and the potential of this, then you would just start doubling down on LinkedIn, guys. So hopefully this helps. If you want a fast and easy to make money online where you don't have to deal with all this stuff, sign up for this week's free workshop because we have a 62-year-old woman go from zero to $160,000 profit in 90 days. As well, check out my podcast of all these multimillionaires that literally live here in Bali that make a bunch of money online in all, the other, in all other aspects. Like this 11-year-old girl turned on $30 million and this guy that makes a million dollars per month profit. It's insane. It's crazy. Hopefully you get inspired. Check it out right here and right here. See you guys later. You.